limit point if every neighborhood of X contains points that are in E. So as an R1 example, consider a number line, what we're saying is that we have a set here, and in this set, let's say it's a half open, half closed interval, maybe something like this, then we're saying that numbers like the, or elements like the ones on the right here that are all the way up until that closed bracket are limit points, because obviously they are all, con if you take any open neighborhood around a point that's already in the set, it will contain points that are inside of the set, namely themselves. However, if you come over to the left end point over here, then this is also a limit point, even though it is not technically a part of this particular set, because no matter what, if you take open intervals around that point right on the edge, it's going to contain some points, in this case on the right, that are, comp that are inside of E. So you don't have to be in a set to be a limit point, but if you are in a set, then you're guaranteed to be a limit point. So let's look at a curious example here. Consider the set open interval or open from zero, closed at one, unioned with the singleton two. So remember to be a, a limit point means that every neighborhood of X has to contain points that are inside of the set E. So let's look at two first and show you that two is definitely a limit point. So two is a limit point. So if you go to two, and you make any neighborhood you want around 2, it's always going to contain numbers that are inside of set E. In particular, it'll always contain the element 2. So any open neighborhood around 2 will always contain 2, therefore 2 is a limit point. How about 1? Think about that one for a second. If you make any open interval that has 1 in it, that's also going to always contain elements that are inside of our set E. Notice there's none over here to the right, but there always are some over to the left, and you still have one, right? One is always inside of any set that contains one, so one is definitely a limit point. Now here's the special one. Come over here to zero. Now zero is not inside of set E. However, if we were to make any open neighborhood around zero, it doesn't contain points of E here over on the left, but it will always contain points of E over here on the right. So any open neighborhood around zero contains elements that are inside of the set E over here on the right. So even though zero was not part of the original set E, it becomes a limit point. It is a limit point of this set. So if we were to use, let's say, E prime to represent the limit points, limit points of E, then what we're seeing here is that the number zero is not in E itself, but zero is in the set of limit points of E. Okay, how does this relate to closedness then? Well, if we consider E to be a set, and we let E prime be the set of limit points of E, then we define the closure of E to be equal to E unioned with its limit points. Actually, I think in some notations we let E prime be the accumulation. That's why I'm writing it up this way. It might seem a little bit redundant right now. You might say, well, E prime, all the points that are in E are already inside of there, but if we redefine E prime to be something like the accumulation points, the points that are actually not elements of the set, but do accumulate value close to them, then this de definition is a little bit more uh, non-redundant. But at any rate, if we do consider this to be the definition, then a closed set, or a set is considered to be closed if and only if you get that E closure, you close up E and you throw in all of its limit points, and that's equal to your original set. So the closure of E, uh, actually let's not call it E anymore because we did it in the last one, but our, if we consider that set that we did on the previous slide, I still called it E, <laughs> if we consider that set that we talked about on the other slide of 0 to 1 union singleton 2, this set is not closed because 0 was a limit point, but it was not an element of this particular set. It's on the border, but it's not inside of the actual set. However, if we were to throw in 0, 0, 1 
union to, this would be the closure of that original set, and this set here is indeed closed.